Welcome to complete SQL uh, tutorial video series. In this video, I am going to discuss about the optional parameter in the store position. Uh, how you can make any uh, parameter as the optional. So, uh, if you talk about for the uh, real time use cases, uh, so sometimes uh, if you uh, create any of the store procedure, uh, that parameter need to be not mandatory okay so you need to uh, make the non mandatory parameter so the reason <coughs> if they skip the value by the user the all value uh, will be retrieved uh, from the database uh, for example suppose uh, we have the one uh, drop down list that is the ct so this is the optional parameter so if the ct is not selected into the report the entire data of the country level will be displayed in the output but if the user selected the city uh, only the specific city uh, what a, whatever is selected that need to be uh, populated into the output so i already discussed about the store procedure uh, introduction and without parameter and the with parameter so if you didn't get a chance uh, please uh, watch all these three video uh, before starting to uh, this video so uh, let's jump to the sql server uh, management studio and uh, see what is the optional parameter is there so uh, this store procedure uh, i created on the video number 50 uh, with parameter okay so suppose if you execute this uh, uh, parameter value 3 you will get an output but sometimes uh, if you don't ha have the any value uh, like suppose i'm passing here the uh, employee id is equal to uh, null okay so uh, what will be happen if you pass the null value uh, that the value will be not there, there is nothing output will be displayed uh, because uh, this store procedure is created uh, based on the hard coded this so whatever the uh, variable you pass under the uh, store procedure okay so which how we can handle this type of the situation so if you not pass the value uh, the store procedure will throw an error uh, like this error you can see procedure or function uh, with parameter this is the procedure name uh, except parameter employee id uh, which was not supplied okay uh, so uh, I, you need to pass the uh, uh, you need to pass the you need to supply the value so how you can make the optional parameter let copy this code only and explain how you can handle this situation here okay so i'm just copying this code and uh, pasting here uh, to save uh, my time okay so now uh, i'm creating this uh, uh, procedure uh, with the name that is the optional parameter okay so let give the name uh, with parameter instead of the optional parameter so when you give the name after the uh, uh, variable whatever you provide the parameter uh, after the data type just you need to put the equal to uh, null okay if you put the equal to null uh, look like uh, let me uh, put some type of the better format so you will get better understanding okay so now you can see so if if you putting int data type is equal to no, null so means this is the optional parameter is there so this is not required mandatory to the pass the value but if you pass the value they accept it but uh, you need to also implement the logic okay so suppose the user not pass the value all the output will be displayed uh, for this reason uh, you need to build one logic here uh, i already discussed the uh, if condition okay so if uh, we can use the is null function okay to if the value is not passed or something the value is passed the like the empty value all the data will be displayed so i put it is null if employed is equal to empty equal to empty we need to be put the uh, begin and uh, uh, just you need to put the end okay so and uh, here you need to just copy the code okay and paste it here between the begin and end okay so let me put uh, better uh, forward and you need to remove this where con condition because if the user not supply the any value all the output will be display here so uh, i'm just checking the condition here that uh, if the if the user not pass the value uh, if the means this employee id is null all the output will be displayed from this part if the user pass the value just you can put the else condition here okay else uh, uh, begin and 
so you can within the begin you can put this code okay so the this user is pass the value so you can just put this code here and now you can end it for this uh, begin end so this is the uh, basically store procedure created uh, if the user not supplied the value this part will be executed if the user supplied the value this part will be executed so let me create the store procedure and uh, see uh, how the store procedure is uh, running so let me copy the store procedure and need to be executed here so now if you is not pass the value okay so the now the sql engine will not throw an error they basically they give the all the output even if you pass the null also it give the all the output or the uh, suppose if you pass the something a uh, value uh, like uh, uh, suppose if you pass the value like 3 okay uh, so you will get the all the output of this uh, employee ID, uh, 3 as well okay so this is the all uh, how we can execute this uh, optional parameter how we can run this uh, how we can uh, uh, make it the optional so if you pass the null value also uh, all the output will be come so uh, just uh, make uh, thumb rule that uh, uh, whenever you, any interviewer will ask you question how you can make the parameter is optional just you can answer that we can uh, uh, put the uh, after the when we creating the parameter value after you need to put the null so like this uh, we can make any parameter as the optional parameter so in the next video uh, i'm going to i will discuss about the uh, uh, how you can validate the parameter and also i will discuss how you can handle the any null value into the store procedure so uh, thank you so much for the watching this video uh, i will meet again in next video thank you